describing something of little importance or trivial. We are looking at how to pronounce petty. Watch me take off with this pettiness, yeah Make a post, watch it take off like a rocket ship Ayy, check my comments, all of these people they savages, yeah Don't come in here, talk a big if you can't handle it, nah I'm on a mission, they in they feelings, they only hear shots ringing out Taking their personal lead, that's what I'm talking about, petty your boy KB Dollar and God is out and you are back with Daddy. Welcome back everybody. Glad to be here. Man, how you feeling today, Dons? Uh that part. That part? That part. Oh shit. No telling what that part means, but I'm gonna take it like it's good. Yes, it is that good. Tell me is that good, Felix. Is that good, bitch? Hi. Yeah. Petty. Yo, what, what's this? Well, who is that? Oh, this is Felix the Pussycat. <laughs> Felix, what's up, Felix? Pussycat. Yo. Hi, nigga. Hi, nigga. <laughs> Where that pussy at? Yo, crazy, crazy. Well, welcome, everybody, back to the Petty Podcast Show. It's your boy, KD Dollar with Shaylee Dons and Felix, Felix. the Pussycat. <laughs> I would be covering my mouth like I'm a tulipus, but fuck you. Anyway. Petty. Welcome back to the Petty Podcast Show, man. Once again, we have some real issues that we want to talk about. Yeah. Period. Um, today, we want to try to educate our black businesses. We also want to give you some examples of ways you can start your own business. And we have a guest today, CG, who is a black entrepreneur out here, and he has his own apparel. So we want to get to that later. But, yo, welcome back. Uh-oh. And y'all black businesses. Go ahead, Petty. Go and y'all black businesses. Petty Petty Grass. Go Do ahead. You understand what I'm saying? Go ahead, Petty Grass. Go ahead. We are here today to educate y'all. Like on every Petty Podcast show. But it's something serious that we want to talk about. Because it hurts me. It really do a hurt. Teeny, a teeny, the fact that teeny. I can't go to my local black businesses and get the proper, proper respect. No, man. Why not you? You Petty Benegrass. Petty. I'm seeing a lot of our black businesses start, but are not able to grow. Now, you automatically know, in order to maintain a good business, you have to have a good product, and you have to have good customer service. Those are the main two. Those are the main two you have to focus on. But I have no understand me, Don. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. On why we cannot get good service from our own people. Next. Hi, um, I'll have a number three with no cheese, no tomato, and no lettuce. Dang, anything else? I got a complicated order. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. I, uh, excuse me, sir. You see me trying to put in my order? Don't interrupt. Rude. Petty. When you start your own business, when you start it, you have to really think it out thoroughly. You have to really consider what's behind it, what's behind the walls, what you have to do actually. And I don't think a lot of y'all do. Y'all hop into the business and y'all not prepared what's, what's to come. And that's what we're here to talk about today. How we can help you rethink your whole process on starting your own black business. Now, I am not discouraging you at all. Not at all. I encourage people to start their own business. It's the American way. Instead of working slavery at 9 to 5 at another business, that start part. your own, right? That part. Start your own. Because what's yours can't nobody take away from you. But please, my people, please rethink the whole thing before you hop in because there is certain things that you have to consider before you start your own b 
business. And that's what we're here today to talk about. First of all, this is very important. If very. You've, if you've been following the Petty Podcast show, you know we support black businesses. Come on, man. We was at, what, we was at um, Third Perk last year? Yes, we were. Juanita blowing up. Superb black business. Superb downtown. Plus. You on TV. Do not be afraid to <laughs> hey, be successful. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Who is you, brother? My name is Frank. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I live around and I'm part of the community. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I do a benefit to the community. I sell men and women's designer glasses. You know really? What I'm if you want to holler at me, my name is Frank. Ask somebody they know about me. You know. Pay. Moments later. <laughs> Talking about black business. He's talking so, about black business. Yo, yo, where you at? Hey, come, come on back. Come on back. Come here. Come on back, nigga. Come on back, businessman. I'm the bro Negro. Don't be scared. I'm the bro Negro. Come on back, nigga. Come He's, on back. Nah, don't come back. What's your marketing strategy? Pay. We want to tell you what to consider before you start your own business. Facts. We encourage you to start your own business. No doubt. But what's the main thing that you should think about? Before you do, listen, because we don't want you to be one of the people who start their own black business and are not successful. I'm talking to three years, no, three months, six Ooh, months, seasonal, not even able to make it a whole year. How can we help you? Fact number one. Oh, shit. Too many alphas. And not enough betas. Uh, Everybody can't be the goddamn boss. Pay. There has to be workers who are willing to work and accept the canceling. You have to have people that work under you. You have to duplicate yourself. If you have the knowledge... You have to share the knowledge so the people that's under you can do exactly what you did to make your business grow. No doubt, no doubt. I heard a long time ago, in order to be a good leader, you got to be a good follower. Say it again, Dons. On my fault, you got to be a good follower if you, you want to be a good leader. You have to follow the lead. Everybody can't be the boss. You got your... Your man's coming in, and your girlfriend coming in, and your uncle coming in, and they all got ideas, and everybody want to boss everybody around, but nobody willing to do the work. And the niggas got IEPs. Pay. Also, no research. Y'all starting businesses, don't even know what y'all doing. Pay. The prime example. Uh oh. Easy example. Uh oh. Let's say you want to wash windows for a building, for a business, right? You understand? So you're like, oh, yeah, it's easy to clean windows all day. Ten I'm going to get that paycheck. I'm going to get this equipment. Blah, blah, blah. But while you working, you making streaks. <laughs> <laughs> that shit foggy. You ain't using the right materials. <laughs> you know what I mean? You did no research. You thought you could pick up a bucket <laughs> and a squeegee and do your job. <laughs> no, that, it, uh, it is not that simple. Pay. Do your research, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever you choose to do, whatever business you choose to make, make sure you thoroughly do your research. Look Bro it up. Brother Dollar. Can I Google give it. Me? Brother Dollar, can I say something? Of course. Last year when I started my hand job hose, I said, yo, <laughs> they just can't be out here jacking niggas off and not knowing what they're doing. I went to Bath and Body Works and I researched all the lotions. Okay. And I found the best one. Niggas like Pacholi. In order to start your business, you have to have sufficient funds. Now, a lot of y'all ballers and a lot of y'all people who get them PPP low <laughs> money. They you like fucked up the PPP yeah, low, yeah. nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? Y'all like, y'all like, look, I'm going to take this money and I'm going to start this business, right? Because y'all think that's all it takes. And pay your child support? Fuck out of here. It takes more than a lump sum of money. You got to realize. Maintain, maintain. You got to realize. You have to worry about several things when, you're in, when you have your own business. You understand? You have to worry about your payroll. 
You have to worry about the products you got to get. It's a whole circulation. You might start off. That part. You might start off with a nice amount of funds. But how it gets broken down and dwindled down, you'd be surprised what you end up with. You have to do the math. You have to investigate. You have to budget. Budgeting is good. Budgeting is the only way to start your own business. Just because you got a large bag don't mean that you can maintain this business. Petty. Next is very important, y'all. Listen to me. Do not feel like you have to hire members of your family. Oh, my God. That will destroy your business. Do you understand what I'm saying? Dollar, tell them. For some reason, when you work with family members, they feel entitled. Ooh. And And they also feel like they can take you for granted. Two bumps. Boom, boom. Petty. What happens in their life is very important to you. Yeah, man. And if you're making money, you want to make sure they make money too, especially if you have a good idea. You want to share it with your cousins. You want to share it with your mama. Ooh. With your daddy. But when y'all get to working together, it doesn't always work out. Family and money can really destroy a business. This is something I, I am preaching to the choir right here because I think a lot of people already know this. But it's something to really consider. Don't hire your family all the time unless you know they are thorough and on the same page as you. Because if not, your business will be destroyed. From within. Petty. Your cousin, Keisha. She supposed to be at work at 8 o'clock. <laughs> she ain't walking in till 10. Talking about her kids. That's not a good situation. Texting you and calling you like cuz. Cuz you know how it is. He left me. I got to do it by myself. I ain't got no real man around me. You don't even want to feel me, though. But can I come in late? Fuck you. Now, if Keisha was working for somebody else, the job that she had before, she wouldn't have did that. But for the simple fact that she is working with her family, she might take that for granted. Petty. No experience. You know what some people tell me sometimes? They be like, man, I want to start a motherfucking cooking I want to sell food. <laughs> but y'all don't even know how to cook. <laughs> y'all trying to sell chicken and y'all, y'all think cooking chicken is easy and fries. And still got to have a timer on it, bro. Still got to have the proper grease, proper seasoning. That's big facts. Big facts, right, y'all, man? Listen, listen to me. Y'all think because y'all can make a good omelet for your girlfriend or your boyfriend and a couple pancakes. And things of that nature, y'all can start a whole breakfast bar. Petty. Because you think it's easy, doesn't mean it's easy. Do you understand what I'm saying, y'all? And we go through that a lot in the city. A lot. All y'all got little food trucks running around. Y'all don't even have safe serve. Fuck your food truck. No safe serve certificates or nothing. Nothing. Y'all ain't washing your hands properly. Y'all ain't using gloves. Y'all ain't cooking at the right temperatures. Y'all ain't even storing stuff at the right temperature. Hey, yo, yo, let's up a temperature. Fuck you, nigga. Your shit ain't stored at the right temperature. That mean that bacteria is going to grow. Nigga might get sick. And you ain't paying attention to motherfucking germs. If it was allergies. A motherfucker may have a peanut allergy. Or a gluten allergy. Say it again. Or a wheat allergy. Say it again, man. And you, give, and you selling this shit? Petty. Before you start, before you start your business, please educate yourself or you'll mess around and get somebody sick, That's hurt, some, That's hurt somebody, <laughs> or waste somebody's money. And we don't want none of that. None. These are ways to protect y'all, our black businesses. Bad customer service. That part. That part. This is a main one. That part. This is one of the big ones. That part. You done hired your aunt, your, your, no, no, not your auntie, your little niece. You done hired your little niece. She's 17 years old. And you thinking because she can read and write <laughs> that she's eligible. She ratchet. To be at the cash, 
to be a cashier. She ratchet. And do customer service with grown folks and multiple people who are in her face. But she doesn't handle it too well. Nope. She's not smiling. She's wearing all her day, meaning that whatever happened in her day, you know, her, Ooh, little, her, that's, that's her, her little boyfriend that made her mad, so now she's taking it out on the customer. The customer like, let me get a uh, burger with extra cheese. He's psychologically enhancing your mentality. Yeah. And she like, what? Petty. You know what I mean? No smiling, no thank you, no you're welcome, no nothing. Work on your customer service because your customer service is what actually brings people back. It's a reflection of you. A reflection of you. I'm not going to go into a topic like this without trying to share and educate with my peoples on how to even start your own business. I want to give you a couple of suggestions, and I have this magazine here. Dumb dollar. From Hood. It's, uh, it's Elevate? El Elvet? <laughs> <laughs> I, think it, I think it's supposed to say Elevate or some <laughs> shit like that, but... <laughs> IP alert, IP <laughs> alert, IP alert. Petty. Shout out to Hood. Shout out to DeMarco in Atlanta. 9.5. Uh, we appreciate this. But this was a, actually a, a magazine from like two years ago. And he gave 29 suggestions on how to start your own business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just about to share a couple of with you. Sell real estate. Start a truck, a trucking company. Start a vending machine business. That part. That's a big one. I know a lot of people who have their own vending machines, and they get that change every day. Every day. Rent out extra space in an Airbnb. See, let me tell you something. Tell that, me. That's how I started my hand job hoes. Last year, I read this magazine. I said, you know what? Airbnbs. COVID. Ain't nobody going to no motherfucker's house chilling. I bet you I get a pretty light skinned bitch. Get her up in there. Nigga, you downtown working every day? You gotta go back to work in one hour? Get a good hand job. Pay. Review books online. You can get paid for reviewing books. Donald Goins, pimps up, hose down. Petty. Rent out your vehicles. Most definitely rent out your vehicles right no now. With a girl doing the back of a seat of a car of a Cadillac. Petty. Walk dogs or take care of pets. Bitches. Petty. Teach English online. Hey, ça passe, iti shamantan. One up. Get paid to listen to music in your spare time. Oh, I can do that. Your beats is whack, but I love him. <laughs> Make videos on YouTube. You can see me come out of the bathroom, wipe myself down. I am on fan base, and what's the other app I'm on? I don't know. Uh, only fans. <laughs> You're <an> only fan. <laughs> <laughs>
people my age and younger or older, I don't care. If I know you, I wish you the best. I just wish you the best. And him right here, I'm very proud of this man right here because he has started his own business in apparel, y'all. And he has been doing it for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all see all this right here? These t-shirts, man. He put, he will put you together. If you if you looking for an outfit for the weekend, he gonna tell you like, bro, these shoes go with this shirt. Yeah. You did what I'm saying? This is for what sure. he does. Sure. Period. For CG, sure. tell us how you got started, bro. Um, well, I've always been a sneakerhead. You know what I'm saying, man. Uh, since I was a kid, you know. But you know, back then you couldn't always get the shoes that you wanted to. Exactly. You know, so, <laughs> you know yeah, I had. You know, a couple pair here and there, but you know, shoot, that's just how it was. We love our shoes, don't we, we y'all? Uh, but <clears throat> you know, uh, getting started with this, it basically came from uh, me not being able to find shirts to match my shoes. Really? You know what I'm saying? You like, you didn't want to keep going to the same stores, and then you walk out on the Friday, Saturday night, wherever, or you know, festival, or whatever. And you, you know what I'm saying, you got the same person, same, same person got the same thing. He wear the same shit you eat. You know what I'm saying? Mark. So, <laughs> I, for me, I wanted to be different. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I, what I started doing was, shoot, I, I had a, a Samsung phone. I had okay. a Galaxy. Shout out to Samsung. <laughs> I I'm, a, I'm a Samsung guy. No <laughs> iPhone. <laughs> I had a no Galaxy. iPhone. <laughs> I had a Galaxy. <laughs> okay. But, uh, so I just started creating pictures on my phone. Okay. Um. And I would find different apps on my phone and, you know, just combining pictures, you know. I may find images on the internet and combine two images that I've found. You know okay. What you know, it's a couple of apps that I use in order to make my designs. Um, but I just started matching the shoes up, man. It was, you know what I'm saying? With the designs, you know. You know, just for instance, you know what I'm saying? With the Georgetown, you know what I'm saying? You got the Georgetown 3s, you know what I'm saying? So why not use, you know what I'm saying? I came up with the concept of, the Georgetown logo and the dog in the middle, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? Something different, you know what I'm saying? Something that you're not going to see, see on the everyday. On the everyday. You know I like this. I like this tea, by the way. It's you dope. Know. And, you know what I'm saying? So, I started off and I cut these out by hand. Cut them out by hand? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And trust me, it's very, very tedious sh shit to do. Now, let, let me ask you a question because one of the things we talked about when starting your own business... Mm -hmm. is you have to be properly prepared for it. You dig what I'm saying? What issues did you have when starting your own business? Was you properly prepared, or did you have to learn along the way? No, I, I, I've been learning along the way, and I've, I've, had, I've had great people around me. Mentors. Mentors, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's, that's helped me in the game. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Ken Lowe. Shout out to... Shout out to Ken Lowe. Shout out to Joe. Legendary Avenue, Misfits brand, shout out to Christo, shout out to all you dating brands. If I forgot you, blame it on my, my mind, not my heart. But, uh, part. you know, I also have a, a mentor, uh, Damian McGuire, that's been helping me along, that's helped me since day one. Um, and, you know, just, it's, it's, it's always gonna be trial and error because, you know what I'm saying, for me, being, I'm a creative person, so, I may come up with something at 3 o'clock in the morning. Word. You know That's what I'm saying? Sometimes when your best <laughs> you know ideas come. Yeah. You know, or, you know, I could be out, you know what I'm saying, somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And, it, you know, somebody is like, dude, get out your phone. I'm like, I can't help it. You know what I'm saying? Because if it hits me right there, then I have to go with it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you just, you know, it's just certain things, you know, people place orders, you know what I'm saying? You, you got, you got, you, it's, it's, a tri it's always going to be a trial and error thing. Yeah. You're never going to have it down perfect. You know what I'm saying? Um, one of my mentors always told me, he said, I can show you what not to do. I can show you what not to do. Let me ask you a question, bro. How big is customer service to you? Because a lot of our black businesses are destroyed mm -hmm. by, bad, by bad customer service. And that, that doesn't necessarily mean face-on-face -face contact. That also has to deal with putting out a good product. Right. How important is that to you? Customer service is very important. I, I've, I've been in customer service, you know, that was one of my first few jobs. Um, but I can't say I've always done a great job at it. No I've doubt. had my faults, you know what I'm saying? And I Here can get that, you know what I'm saying? You know, I've had my mistakes, I've made my mess ups, you know what I'm saying? 
but putting out a quality product, you know what I'm saying? Putting out something that, you know, for me and what I do, I have to make sure that this this is gonna stand the length of the fabric. You know what I'm saying? Very important when it comes. You know what I'm saying? Very important when it comes to apparel. Dope. You know, that was dope. You know, I mean, you got people. You know, it's just I don't want them to wash it and it start peeling or you know what I'm saying? It starts cracking instantly. You know exactly. So, therefore, I try to make sure that I use you know what I'm saying good good product, good good supplies in order to make sure that that don't happen. So that come like that kind of comes to my next question: Why should the audience? Why should our people out there in Petty World? shop with you i mean because i'm always give you something different you know what i'm saying i'm always gonna give you something creative um i'm you know i, I live and breathe this you know what i'm saying yeah i I, st I work you know what i'm saying i got a regular job but you know what i'm saying i try to you know bring people's ideas to fruition i try to bring it to light you know people have asked me to create shirts for them um you know and i try my best to give them exactly what they want you know what I'm saying? They may ask for a shirt that I've already, you know what I'm saying, shown, and that's fine. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm my only model. I don't have, you know, a model team, and you know what I'm saying? So, you know, people get, people would tend to uh, get, uh, you know, call me uh, Mr. Selfie and, and this, that, and the other. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not Mr. Selfie, you know though. What I'm saying? But Petty. When you, when you, when you when you get when you get lemons you make lemonade right exactly so you know what I'm saying I start hashtagging my post Mr Selfie himself even made a shirt you know what I'm saying at one point in time you know what I'm saying but like I said yeah I, I got I can be petty too you know what I'm saying <laughs> when, 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 when need be you know what I'm saying I can be petty when, okay. when need be okay but, so with that being said what's the pettiest thing first of all how long you been in business uh started. Well, I officially LLC my business in 2020. 2020, I've been, okay. I've been making shirts since 2015. Okay, that's that's a wow, y'all. He's a vet. What is the pettiest thing that's not happened to you since you started this business? <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a couple. I hate to say it. <laughs> Tell but, it how it but, is, bro. You know what I'm saying? This It was a situation where I was asked to, to make a shirt make several shirts um and i made the design showed the person the design you know pressed up the shirts <laughs> pressed up the shirts you know what i'm saying materials like used y'all gotta realize I'm gonna, i cut this out by hand you know what i'm saying so you know what i'm saying made the shirts or whatever you know what i'm saying so hey you know what i'm saying your shirt's ready no answer shirt's ready no answer no answer but the shirts were for a sentimental value, or supposedly for okay. a sentimental value. Wow. Well, that's very important. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, I can't do anything with them. I can't sell them. She never answered the phone. Right, because they was just for never that situation. For that situation. Daddy. And that it, situation. they never got back with you? Never. They ghosted you. Yes. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Lord. Yeah. Materials wasted. Yeah. Yeah. Petty. Yeah. Goodness. Petty. Did you, you know change saying? did you change up your style of taking on that type of business? Did you like do you get like a uh 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 where they have to drop money down now? Like I, I actually prefer that they pay first. Pay first. I mean it's, it's it's you have to look at it like this, man. It ain't no different than you buying something off of Amazon. Some, you know what I'm saying? Something you like off of Amazon. You're going to pay them before you get it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It takes me time to create this, like I said. Once again, I hate to keep repeating myself, but I cut this out by hand. <laughs> yeah. That's you know important, though, bro. You know, and I've, I've had people come in, hey, uh, uh, shoot. They, you know, I tell them, all right, give me at least a two, three day window. And sometimes it takes longer than that, depending on if I got other orders. You know what I'm saying? But I I, I can't be honest in my in my own mistakes. I have been I have procrastinated before. Yes, I have. I'm just being honest with that. That's just being transparent. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. I had to I had to grow from that. What do you see yourself in three years with your business, bro? Um hopefully in three years. Well I've always kind of wanted to open my own store. Because like I said I started off in retail. I mean I ain't say that but I started off in retail. Um and you know my and the reason why I called my brand Dayton's own clothing and apparel because if you see that sign, I don't want you to just think that it's just my stuff. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't mind having, you know what I'm saying, any 
Dayton brand, Day, you know what I'm saying, Dayton, you know what I'm saying, fashion brand in my store. You know what I'm saying? My vision, yeah. I have a vision to have that store and you, you know what I'm saying, certain, you know what I'm saying, brands will have their own section. You know what I'm saying, boom. You know what I'm saying? You'll have a Players University section, a Legendary Avenue section. You know what I'm saying? It'll be different section, but they all brands from Ohio. I mean, from Dayton. Oh, you God. know what I'm saying? And it's not, you know what I'm saying? And it's about everybody collectively trying to make, you know what I'm saying? We all, we all in this fashion business together. Yes, others are more advanced. And I salute, <laughs> I salute them. I salute them, the ones that are more advanced. I'm still learning, still growing. But, you know what I'm saying? That's my, that was my vision, you know what I'm saying? Will it happen in three years? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I'll put it in the atmosphere and see what happens. It will happen, <laughs> CG. You're doing your thing so much. How about we tell everybody out there where they can find you and how they can shop with you, brother? Uh, you know, I have uh, Dayton's Own Clothing and Apparel Facebook page. Uh -huh. uh, you can also reach me at CG on Facebook. Uh, I also have a Dayton, Dayton's Own Clothing and Apparel brand on uh, Instagram. People been telling me to get a TikTok. I ain't too cool. Get a that. TikTok. I, yeah, I, get a I TikTok. I, 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 I ain't on it yet, but get a know, TikTok. It'll help. They've been telling me that's what to do. You know, uh, you know, but we'll see what happens. I mean, that's that's the main way to contact me. Um, I'm still working on my website and everything, and but majority of the time, just contact me through Facebook or Instagram, and I'll definitely get back with you. Well, brother, I'm very proud of you. Appreciate Yo, it, like like he made this shirt for me. This is me, y'all, with the Petty logo and bricks. <laughs> you hear me? Very dope design. I appreciate this, bro. Up, bro? I love uh, this before team. Before we leave, before we leave, uh, this is yours, sir. Hey, right, gave me another gift, yo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Can, you can also, gift this to you know, gift this to someone. Charmaine, yo, we got Dayton's own right here for my man CG. Y'all heard where to go check him out? Check him out. What's up, Daz? <laughs> Daz still in clothing again, <laughs> y'all. He crazy. Yo, thanks for coming to the Petty Podcast Show. We got my man CG. We got Shady Daz in the house. And we got Charmaine, Petty, Blunt behind the camera. Ooh. Let's get it, yo. Peace. <laughs> I'm on a mission, they in their feelings, they only hear shots ringing out Taking their personal lead, that's what I'm talking about, Patty Cool, I'm a fan, felt like the man with this Patty shirt I got Swag, crush out the box, just to compliment my top They hating, no worry, I got them, I know what it's like from the bottom That's why I came up, but this money, it just keep on calling